Right, okay. Well, my character, her name is Sonia, and this is the prequel to the first two Underworlds, and I am the daughter of Bill Nye, uh, whose character is Victor. We said it's set in the 12th century, okay. and I have a phenomenal love affair with the Lycan, uh, played by Michael Sheen. It goes back to the roots of uh, the life of Victor and his daughter, Sonia, and it gets you back in a time where the, 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 the werewolf, where some of them are turned into what we call the lichen, you see in the future movies. It is the roots of the battle between the vampires and, and the lichens. It is one of the story. I should give this to Kevin, but one of the story that was created at the original stages of the underworld as a backstory to, for the first movie. So we're going back to explain how this whole thing did start. And we're seeing the movie through the eyes of the werewolf this time and not the vampires. You know, this is the origins of all that, the origins of the lichens, the origin of Ray's, you know, my character, you know, Ray's relationship with Lucian. You know, the, uh, you know, the intensity of the love that Sonya had for uh, Lucian and how that really impacted how he would be for the next 600 years. And, you know, finally reaching, uh, I guess, his... Uh, Seeking his, his revenge, you know, years later, which we show in the first one. I think it's Underworld meets Romeo and Juliet meets, uh, I don't want to sound pretentious there, but yeah. Spartacus in the theme. It's it's a big, I mean, it's a clash of uh, social classes together. It's a theme you've seen before. Uh, it's, it's it's people creating a revolution to fight back against, you know, the, the, the tyranny of the vampire. And it sets up the, all the other movies in some ways. So, I mean, Talking to Len like a couple of days ago, Len said, you know what, Our, when we were creating the backstory, he says, I really hope one day this movie would be made, and uh, that's the one. Nothing more fun than being a vampire and wearing teeth and corsets and riding horses and sword fighting, and my outfit's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> As we'd expect it to be. Yeah, and it's quite saucy, really, you know, but... Uh, it's practical. She's a horsewoman, so I have to be able to fight in it, and there's armor involved. Beautiful, beautiful armor. And uh, chain mail, and you know, quite extraordinary. I've actually never seen anything like it. Sort of a blend between Joan of Arc and, um, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit of, I suppose, Kate's, Kate's costume from the first, first two.